Dr. Gauri Raut, a postdoctoral fellow working in the Division of Bioenergy at Agarkar Research Institute, Pune. I am working on the topic Enhanced Oil Recovery from High Temperature Oil Reservoir using biosurfactant produced by a novel hyperthermophilic bacteria. I would like to draw your attention to a grave reality. We can see here that a man is telling planet Earth, you have used all the crops. How long before you can make more? One year, says the Earth. Then another man tells the Earth, you have used up all the trees. How long would you need to make more? Twenty years, says the Earth. One man then asks the Earth, you have used up all the fossil fuels. How much time would you need to make more? A hundred million years, says the Earth. Yes, that is the amount of time needed to replenish our existing fossil fuel reserve. Hence, we need to use these reserves optimally. India is a major importer of petrol and its import has increased to 83.7% in 2018-19 with a demand for 211.6 million tons. The government is focusing on measures like increasing domestic production, promoting the use of biofuels and energy conservation to reduce dependence on imported crude oil. Now let us know a little bit about this crude oil. Crude oil consists of 47% petrol or gasoline. Petroleum derived from crude oil is a non-renewable and rapidly depleting fuel source. The process of recovery of crude oil is quite challenging and hence, maximum recovery of crude oil is of prime importance. In primary recovery methods, gravity and pressure inside the reservoir helps to recover oil. Secondary oil recovery methods involve the use of water and natural gas injections to increase crude oil recovery. After primary and secondary recovery methods, more than 55% of oil is still left as residue. Tertiary recovery processes involve the use of chemical surfactants which are not environment friendly. Biosurfactants when used for microbial enhanced oil recovery or MUR decrease the viscosity of oil, help in storage tank cleanup and promote the formation of emulsions. An important drawback in the application of uh, MUR to oil wells is the limited availability of organisms capable of growth at high temperature, high pressure uh, and lack of oxygen. The hypothesis for the study is an anaerobic hypothermophilic archaea capable of growing at very high temperatures could be capable of biosurfactant production. Identification of this organism and the biosurfactant produced thereof would be a novel area of study. This biosurfactant would be novel because it would be active at very high temperatures. The production of biomulsifier was optimized and a nutrient medium was designed which was stable at 90 degrees centigrade and yielded maximum biomulsifier production. In the figure we can see production of biomulsifier which was measured using kerosene emulsification assay indicated by the tubes at the left. The tubes at the right indicate control, that is no biomulsifier production. The biomulsifier produced could help in MUR from oil wells characterized by high temperature, especially in fat and warm This biomulsifier is novel because it is active at very high temperature. I would like to acknowledge the financial support from the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. I would also like to thank my postdoctoral supervisor, Dr. P.K. Dhakefaldkar, for giving me an opportunity to work in this area.